Great day everyone! Welcome to TV Escuela! I am Sir Frederick Fernandez Aticador, a teacher from Mainit National High School, Nabunsuran East District. I'll be with you again in this new episode of learning in our subject, Philippine Politics and Governance 12. Now, I want you to raise your hand if you are ready. Alright? Get your module in Module 3, Week 6. Prepare your paper and pen because today is going to be a wonderful day of filled with fun and learning. I know that you are all set for today's activities. Shall we start by determining how much you already learned? This activity is entitled, What I Know. Instruction. Kindly answer the following questions. Select the letter of the correct answer and write it in a separate sheet of paper. Do you follow? Very good! Number 1. What do you call the branch of government which enforces the law? What do you call the branch of government which enforces the law? A. Executive B. Judiciary C. Legislative the local. There you are. The correct answer is letter. Letter A. Executive. Number two. To whom is the executive power vested? Again, to whom is the executive power vested? A. Cabinet members. B. Congress. C. President. D. Vice President Okay, the correct answer is letter C. President Number 3 Which of the following is not a requirement for a person to be elected president? Again, which of the following is not a requirement for a person to be elected president? A. A registered voter B able to read and write C natural born citizen of the Philippines and letter D at least 50 years old on the day of election yes the correct answer is letter letter D at least 50 years old on the day of election Number 4. In case of death, permanent disability, removal from the office, or resignation of the president, the shall become the president to serve that expired term. Again, in case of death, permanent disability, removal from the office, or resignation of the president, the shall become the president to serve that expired term. A. Chief Justice B. House Speaker C. Senate President Letter D. Vice President You are right! The correct answer is letter D. Vice President Number 5 in case of the serious illness of the president, the shall be informed of the state of his or her health. Again, in case of the serious illness of the president, the shall be informed of the state of his or her health. A. Congress B. Justices C. Public and letter D. Senators You are right when your answer is letter Letter C. Public Okay, count your scores Who got 5 over 5? Excellently perfect Who got 4 over 5? Very good who got 
three over five. Good. Who got one or two over five? I know you can do more. Just keep trying. With all the ideas and concepts we presented, what do you think is our lesson for this period? Again, with all the ideas and concepts we presented, what do you think is our lesson for this period? Amazingly correct! Executive department. Will you repeat it for me? Thank you for that. The government essentially exercises three great powers. One, the power to create laws. Two, the power to interpret laws. And three, the power to implement laws. These powers are distributed to the three branches of the government. Legislative, Judiciary, and Executive. Inasmuch as we want to discuss the three branches, however, we cannot do such due to time constraint. So for now, we will just focus on the Executive Department. For proper guidance, I am requesting everyone to focus your eyes on the screen for today we are learning to 1. Define the executive department 2. Analyze the roles, functions, and powers of the executive department 3. Make an assessment about the performance of the executive department the executive is the organ exercising authority in and holding responsibility for the governance of the state. The executive enforces laws. The president, with our incumbent president, Rodrigo Roa Duterte, is the head of the state and the head of the government and functions as the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines. As outlined in the Article 7 of the 1987 Philippine Constitution, the role of the President in relations to his or her powers are as follows. Section 1 The executive power shall be vested in the President of the Philippines. What do you think are the qualifications to be a president of the Philippines? Is it A, do you need to be a college graduate with a high degree? B, do you need to graduate with flying colors in a prestigious university? Or letter C, do you need to be a member of an elite or rich family to be a president? Let's check it out. Section 2. No person may be elected president unless he is a natural born citizen of the Philippines, a registered voter, able to read and write, and at least 40 years of age on the day of election, and a resident of the Philippines for at least 10 years immediately preceding such election. Section 3. There shall be a vice president who shall have the same qualifications and term of office and be elected with and in the same manner as the president. He or she may be removed in the office in the same manner as the president. Now the question is, how many term or terms and years in a term or terms shall the president and vice president have? One, two, three, six, or nine years in a term or terms. Is he or she eligible for re-election? Let's find out. Section four. The president and vice president shall be elected for a term of six years. 
the president shall not be eligible for any re-election. No person who has succeeded as president and has served as such for more than four years shall be qualified for election to the same office at any time. No vice president shall serve for more than two consecutive terms. The Supreme Court shall be the sole judge of all contests relating to the election of the president and vice president. Another situation to consider. What if the president dies? Who will succeed to the position? What if the one who succeeded to the position of the president also died? Who will now take in place? Let us discover in the next section. Section 8. In case of death, permanent disability, removal from the office or resignation of the president, the vice president shall become the president to serve the unexpired term. In case of death, permanent disability, removal from the office, or resignation of both the president and vice president, the president of the Senate, in the case of his inability, the Speaker of the House of Representatives shall then act as the president until the president or vice president shall have been elected and qualified. Apparently, the order of succession if the president dies are the following. Vice President, Senate President, and Speaker of the House. What if the only position of Vice President is vacant due to what we have mentioned a while ago? What will happen to the position of Vice President and who will take place? Let us discover in the next section. Section 9. Whenever there is vacancy in the office of the Vice President during the term he was elected, the President shall nominate among the members of the Senate and the House of the Representatives who shall assume the office upon confirmation by a majority vote of all the members of both Houses of the Congress, voting separately. Therefore, nomination is done by the President and the decision is made by the Congress. The nominee who will get the majority votes of both houses shall be recognized as the new vice president. Section 12. In case of serious illness of the president, the public shall be informed of the state of his health. The members of the cabinet in charge of national security and foreign relations and the chief of staff of the armed forces of the Philippines shall not be denied access to the president during such illness. This time, we will discuss the roles and powers of the Philippine president. Number one, power to control over the executive branch. The president of the Philippines has mandate of the control over all executive departments, bureaus, and offices. This includes restructuring, reconfiguring, and appointment of their respective officials. Number two, ordinance power. The President of the Philippines has the power to give executive issuances, which are a means to streamline the policy programs of the administration. Three, power of imminent domain, land reservation, and recovery of ill-gotten wealth. Power of imminent domain means the state has the power to seize or authorize the seizure of private property for public use with just compensation. Power to land reservation for settlement or public use and for specific public purposes, any of the lands for public domain. Power over ill-gotten wealth. The President shall direct the Solicitor General 
to institute proceedings to recover government properties. Number four, power of appointment. The president may appoint officials of the Philippine government as provided by the Constitution and laws of the Philippines. And number five, power of general supervisions over local governments. The president, as chief executive, has the mandate to supervise local governments in the Philippines, despite their autonomous status as provided by Republic Act 7160, otherwise known as the Local Government Code of 1991. This time, we will have another activity entitled, What I Can Do. Your role now is a judge. You will be assessing the performances of the current or incumbent officials in the executive department. You will rate them by 1 to 10. 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. You have to justify your rating by giving an explanation, minimum of 100 words. The table shows three columns. First column is the members of the executive department. So you will be rating now the president, President Rodrigo Dicong Roa Duterte, Vice President Maria Leonor Leni Herona Robredo, and just choose one cabinet member. So the next column is the rating from 1 to 10. Note, 1 is the lowest and 10 is the highest. And the third column now is your explanation or justification of your rating. Remember, minimum of 100 words. Dear learners, Submit your work to your teacher and let them check your answers. This time, let us have the final activity. This is entitled, The Final Test. Let us determine how much you already learned in our discussion this period. Instruction Kindly answer the following questions. Select the letter of the correct answer and write it in a separate sheet of paper. Do you follow? Very good! Number 1. The President of the Philippines has the power to give, which are a means to streamline the policy and programs of administration. Again, the President of the Philippines has the power to give which are a means to streamline the policy and programs of administration a bills b executive issuances c jurisprudence and letter d ordinances the correct answer is letter b Executive Issuances Number 2 Who shall nominate a Vice President whenever there is vacancy in the office of the Vice President? Again, Who shall nominate a Vice President whenever there is a vacancy in the office of the Vice President? A. Chief Justice B. Congress C. President D. Senators Very good! The correct answer is letter C. President Number 3 The President and Vice President shall be elected for term or terms of year or years. Again, the president and vice president shall be elected for term or terms of 
year or years? A. One term of three years. B. One term of six years. C. Two terms of three years. And letter D. Two terms of six years. Excellent! The correct answer is letter B. One term of six years. Number four. In case of death, permanent disability, removal from the office, or resignation of the president, the vice president shall become the president. What if the vice president who succeeded dies? Who will succeed to the position of the president? Again, in case of death, permanent disability, removal from the office, or resignation of the president, the vice president shall become the president. What if the vice president who succeeded dies? Who will succeed to the position of the president? A. Associate Justice B. Chief Justice C. House Speaker and Letter D. Senate President Bravo! The correct answer is Letter D. Senate President Number 5, the last number the following are the functions of the president exempt. Again, the following are the functions of the president exempt. A. Commander-in-Chief B. Head of the government C. Head of the state And letter D. Head of the Congress Outstanding! The correct answer is letter D. Head of the Congress. Okay, count your scores. Who got 5 over 5? Excellently perfect. Who got 4 over 5? Very good. Who got 3 over 5? Good. Who got 1 or 2 over 5? I know you can do more. Just keep trying. Great work! You are learning fast! Dear learners, you are capable and empowered to achieve your dreams and aspirations in life. Your academic success lies in your own hands. Once again, this is Sir Frederick Fernandez Aplicador from Mainit National High School, Nabunsuran East District, saying, Dito! Sa TV Skwela, sa pag-aaral, sama-sama. Bye-bye!